Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Darkpool Algo, and thanks for joining me on another weekend watch list building session. Today is Saturday, September 11th, 2021. 9 11, uh, 20 years ago. I remember that day. It's, uh, yeah, definitely changed a bunch of people's lives forever. And uh, I'm still sad to this day. So I don't want to focus too much on that. Uh, I do, however, want to review the market quickly before we get into next week. I've got our top five plays. And let's see, I think that's it. I've got uh, some technical analysis. I've got some screenshots ready to go. I've got some algorithm ready to go. I'm gonna be using the Smart Money Dark Pool and Block Trade algorithm software from FlowTrade to show us if there's any bear bullish divergence. Um, smart Money buying while price actions maybe selling off. Be a good time to get in on that divergence. Uh, if you're looking at my chart right now, this is the ES for this um, for the daily time frame. I wanted to show you, uh, as far as my chart goes, uh, we, the lines that you see there are, are moving averages, or stack moving averages, the 8, 21, 34. The blue is the 50 SMA, and red is the 200 SMA. And what I wanted to show you was that we faded and pulled back. Look at this. So talk about SPX rollover, this green line. I know you guys can't see this green line, so I'm just going to drop a line right here. That is the rollover line for uh, new contract, uh, new futures contracts. We faded into that, pulled back, held support at the 34 EMA on Friday. So anytime price actions hit this 34 EMA, you know, so we may fade or try to come back and dip down and touch the 50. But overall, the market is, the market is still in an uptrend, right? The trend is your friend until the end. I would consider us to be bullish into the next couple of weeks, especially coming up into quad witching, our, our quad witching, which is the 17th. So contracts for this week, I feel as if though we're going to be bullish going into the week. Uh, that's a good look at ES. I'm going to look at NQ really quickly, which is the NASDAQ. And I'm assuming it's going to be very similar, a uh, very similar pattern. Okay. Before we get into it, though, I just want to let you know, thanks a lot for your support. And I wanted you to know that I was officially invited to become a, a YouTube partner. Uh, it's kind of a big deal for me. I started this channel in the hopes of helping people out, teaching some basic technical analysis, and just providing a resource to, for people to come to to find out what's going on with the large institutional smart money you know, and the block trades, being able to see what that algo is doing. So big deal. Just wanted to reach a shout out and say thank you all. Really, really appreciate your support and keep it up. With that being said, hit that like button, subscribe, go ahead and turn on notifications so that you can see when we release new and updated content. Okay. Very similar pattern here. Nice strong uptrend. And we pulled back. We hit touched the 50 last time. Uh, I don't know if we're going to hit the 50 again. We've got some pretty significant support on the way down. Uh, on the, the last time we hit the 50, we didn't have this type of support here. So here and here and here. I think the 30 or the 21 may be the pullback point uh, on the NQ. If we do need to come back down and test the, the 34 EMA, looking to look for support right around 15,235 area. Um, so going into Monday, we may dip down to the 21 and then continue on the bullish trend to the upside. Uh, let's see. I think that that's, I mean, that's a pretty generalized, you know, the trend is still intact. Last week was just a pullback. We're just pulling back to the mean. Um, no, don't get panicky or anything like that. You know, getting below the 50 is time to you know, start really looking at um, the direction of the market changing. However, we haven't done that yet. We haven't even pulled back to the 21. So um, those are, you know, just a quick market overview. And then uh, we're going to jump right into the top five for the, the top five stocks for this week. Right after this break, check out the intro. All right. Welcome back. Um, I do plan on changing that intro. We're just uh, we got a lot of other things going on right now. OK, so the plays for this week are going to be PayPal, SWS or SWKS, EMR. FISV and SLB. I'm going to go ahead and start off with SLB. This one's very interesting in that the Algo has essentially been trading with price action in an upward direction. 
going into the end of last week, we had the algo and price action selling off together. And it looks as if though we may have found a reversal point here on the 9th. The algo started net buying as price action continued to sell off, most likely filling these block trades that had come in on the 8th and the 9th. Okay. Uh, we do have quite a few block trades on the way back up. Ultimate target is this this uh, eight, you know, at the end of Oct end of August block trade coming in at 29.29, or potentially this dark pull level coming in at 28.43. This is a pretty interesting little setup we've got here. We've got looks as if though upward trend line support, a little bit of a wedge that needs to break out. Like I said, we got to get through these block levels. They are going to provide resistance until they become support. But this this uh, algorithm, nice strong bullish uptrend. Keep an eye on that little curly Q going into the week, making sure that we can get over and past that. As far as from uh, price action is concerned, looks very wavy. Got an inside day at the end or an inside bar at the end of the day on the 15 minute chart. Currently, we've got some looks like some stack positive moving averages. I'd like to get it a little bit more clean. Waiting for this MACD to curl over and break up to the upside. RSI is just neutral. Um, potential squeeze releasing on the 15 minute and potential squeeze releasing to the upside on the daily. Daily is a little bit more concerning. We're trading at negative two ATR below VWAP, below point of control, below the 50, below the 200. So potential rally to that spaghetti, you know, spaghetti, uh, moving average, uh, cluster that's right there coming in about 27. 27.68. So I'm looking for maybe a rally up to the 200 uh, SMA right at 27.30. It's a short move, but this stock does pay well. Okay, moving on to the next one. We had, let's go ahead and check out PayPal, I believe is the one we're going to look at now. So looking at PayPal on 15 minute chart, this has got nice bullish divergence as well. Uh, a little bit of a selling off into the end of the week, similar to what most stocks did. Nice, strong. See how the algo is maintaining its little upwards channel here a little rising uh, is this a, eh, a little bit of a flag it's formed uh the algo is formed kind of a flag it's it's subtle but it's there so if we were to take a we we're take a line from here and bring it all the way over here right see a little bit of a wedge that it's forming there keeping an eye on this algo to curl up and continue to move to the upside a little bit of a double bottom from support way back at the end of the last month right We've got uh, overhead resistance we need to get through and could be one, two, three, Wu-Tang reversal. Uh, definitely going to keep an eye on it, targeting the 290, 97, right? The 290, the 290 target. As far as PayPal is concerned on the charts goes, we've got, let's see what we got here. Okay, not super thrilled with negatively stacked moving averages, but it looks like we took we pulled back to some semblance of support. Let's see, pulling back to support. All right, trading at three ATR, pulled back to previous high support. Right, massive inside bar candle. Right, I'm not sure if we have to come back down and test the twenty one or test VWAP and continue up or if that algo is going to pull us back up above the 50. So I'm going to keep an eye on it, see how it moves early in the week. Um, this 288 level, yeah, this 288, 289 level is VWAP and the 200 SMA on the daily. Looking for this slingshot squeeze to release to the upside, MACD crossover and pull back up. So any, any news on PayPal, and then we'll look to get back in it. So I'm thinking 290, 295. Yeah, I think that's right. That'll get us back up through these uh, block trades as well. Okay. Uh, next one we wanted to look at was SWKS. SWKS. All right. If I remember correctly, this one. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Wu Tang pattern failed reversal because the market sold off on Friday. All right. Regardless, nice strong uptrend on the algorithm. Algorithm's kind of forming a little bit of a wedge that it needs to break out. I'm really interested in this little point here. If it can continue to consolidate and hopefully pop out to the upside, then I think we can take it um, take it long. We do have a dark pool level at, doo -doo -doo -doo, that came in at 186.45. That's going to be our target. Um, not really concerned about this. This is mainly the whole market falling. If we get a rally, and then we can continue to move back up. There is an opportunity from 177 to about 180. Right, that's a three dollar move. Really. 
looking for a break of the break of these previous lows um, to definitely go long. A couple weeks out, maybe. Sorry, I have the got my mic right here. I gotta try to get through it. Right, just very choppy pattern for the last, you know, going into the end of the month. Let's see, currently trading at about one ATR. We rested above the 50 SMA. Uh, or excuse me, rested above VWAP. Looking to pull up to point of control, maybe 185. Test out that 50 SMA on the daily. Consolidation on the MACD. Looking for this curl around on the MACD and the squeeze to fire off to the upside. As far as moving averages go, we're slightly making, we were making higher highs and higher lows for that massive sell-off um, that was caused by the market. Definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. Looks like it ran into VWAP and rejected. So we may be a little early on this one, see how the market reacts and can it affect this stock. Definitely look for at least a rally to the 200 SMA. So that 177 to 180, right? That's a nice $3 move. If we can get up above that 180 level, I think we can test 182, then 185. Okay, that was SWKS. EMR is our next one. Never traded EMR before, so it should be interesting. But it does have a pretty good, pretty good algo, right? Massive sell-off at the end of the end of the week, just like everything. The algo did. Um, we had some bullish divergence on the 9th where the algo and smart money started buying heavily as the sell-off happened. Found a little bit of a double bottom, right? And so into Friday, we gapped up, pulled back, attempted to run, market started selling off, and we maintained support. So the algo is proning up. As long as this can continue in upward direction, I would look for this uh, price action to come back up. Going to be super interested on the break of like 101, 150. See how see how uh, price action looks at that point. As far as the uh, you know overall bullish uptrend, every time it seems to pull back to this 50 SMA, it does rally. So pull back to the 50, rally. Pull back to the 50, rally. We pull back to the 50. We can anticipate another rally to the upside. Definitely want this histogram to fire to the upside and give this MACD on the daily time to curl back around a little bit. So I don't know if we chop here at the 21 EMA and you know highest volume VWAP for a day or so, uh, but I'd like to see a move up, maybe touch point of control, come back down, find support at VWAP and continue to the upside. So that would look like getting above VWAP at 103 and the 200 SMA at 103. 350. So we've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a fight going back up, but I really think that this was just market sell off, right? I think we we're on our way back up. News sold off. Okay. Contrarian, we do break down below current support right here at 90, 99 even. Uh, we can fall to you know any of these previous lows here, right? 97.50. So, uh, you know, if we do fade, we go 97.50, then we test 93.86, and then all the way down to VWAP at 92.50. So there's an upside and a downside for you. All right, EMR, FISV is the last one that we're going to check out today. And SV, FISV, all right. First serve, I think it's, is this first service rounds? First serve, I'm not sure what they do. But again, we were kind of in a drown, downtrend. The algo is trading with price action, right? Make, you know, just trading with price action as a generalized uptrend. We did have that divergence that occurred at the end of the day on Friday, sold off. This is a little concerning, so we may be early on this one again too. But like I said, I think there's a massive sell off going into, um, the end of last week this next week may look a little different so we're going to check it out on the chart all right as far as the chart goes let's see what do we do we go from two atr back and forth up to three down to two rip to three back down to two looks as if it looks as if though it was holding the 200 sma and that sell-off occurred I'll have to check into this a little bit more on Monday, see if we can find some news. But we are at previous support right now to ATR. 
looking for this to curl back around and move to the upside. Um, let's see. Yeah, we've got a look. Let's just say if we cannot um, rally back to the upside, we do have an opportunity to the downside, right? Coming in and checking out, you know, previous lows of 105. So there's a $5 move to the downside with 107.50 being a pit stop on the way down. And 10. Yeah, 108. It's actually 108. Yeah. So 108, 105. Then maybe bounce back up to the upside. Yeah, I think that that's pretty. I think that could possibly happen. Or we just retreat. Because see how what happened here the last time? Massive sell off. We sold off for an additional day. And then we rallied back up to 3 ATR. So this has got a lot of volatility into it. So just be careful. All right, so we did PayPal, SWKS, EMR, FISV, and SLB. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for joining me on another weekend watch this building session. Again, thanks for your support. I will see you all Monday morning, an hour before the open. I'll be streaming Monday through Friday, 8.30, at 8 30 Eastern Standard Time. We're going to try to drop in some opens, live streaming of the opens uh, sprinkled throughout next week. If you have any requests, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I'll get them added to the watch list for Monday morning. Thanks for joining me and have a great weekend.